This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University. Today I wanted to answer the question, what happens to Bitcoin if the internet goes down? This is indeed one of Bitcoiners' greatest fears, though we don't often talk about it. Bitcoin appears to be very strong today, but if anyone could break into this secret government room and flip the internet switch, it would be over for all of us. This is a picture of the switch that controls the internet. And whoever controls the switch just has enormous power to turn it on and off. Some people think that the best way to defend against an attack like this is to collect shiny yellow rocks instead, like this great gold miner. Once the internet gets turned off permanently, the whole world is in fact going to go back to paying for things with shiny yellow rocks. That's right, gold bugs are finally going to be right and get the respect that they deserve. People like Peter Schiff are going to be very happy, and you're going to be able to go to McDonald's and buy some hamburgers and fries with a gold card. That's gonna be really cool. Unfortunately, that was just a fun fantasy. Now it's time to get back to reality. As you probably figured out, the internet does not have an on and off switch. But if you're enjoying this video so far, I just ask you to hit the subscribe button. That really helps out this channel. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and share this video with a friend or family member. So the internet obviously does not have an on and off switch. It's a decentralized network of computers run by governments, corporations, other entities, as well as private individuals. The internet fortunately does not have a centralized point of failure. In fact, the internet protocol was designed to route around parts of the network that are down. And the internet was explicitly designed by the US Department of Defense to even be able to survive a nuclear war. You can certainly shut down parts of the internet and governments occasionally do this as a way of controlling their citizens. Netblocks.org is a great website to keep up on this and to see what repressive governments are doing with their local internet worldwide, but even these repressive governments end up turning the internet back on, not because they care about their citizens, but because all governments worldwide desperately need the internet in order to function and to govern. This is one of the big problems with gold bugs. Their most bullish case relies basically on the end of human civilization, as if humanity is just going to roll over and say, oops, it's gone. Oh, well, guess we're never again going to have electricity or the internet. Now, an EMP attack caused by a nuclear bomb, for example, in the high atmosphere or a solar flare could certainly fry a lot of machines and possibly even cause a temporary global internet outage. But when the electricity and the internet comes back on, your Bitcoin will still be there waiting for you. That's because Bitcoin does not disappear when the internet or electricity gets turned off. It just goes into hibernation mode, a little bit like a cockroach. Both Bitcoin and the internet don't have an off switch. They don't have centralized points of failure, and governments would need to coordinate in every single country on earth in order to turn off the internet and then coordinate to make sure that it stays off. This seems very unlikely. It's a very tall order. The US, China, Russia, other large countries don't really coordinate on anything anymore. And you know, as we said, who really depends on the internet? It's every single government in the world. But let's just assume that governments could shut down the internet keep them down for five years, you'd obviously have incredible chaos and a social crisis. But what would, what would happen next if this in fact happened? What would happen is as soon as the internet came back on anywhere, the Bitcoin network would be immediately resurrected and start churning out blocks. Is the Bitcoin network's data backed up securely? This is a question a lot of people ask when they first come to Bitcoin. In fact, it is. Thousands and thousands of copies of the Bitcoin blockchain and the UTXO set are found everywhere in the world. And it would only take one of those copies in order to restart everything. This is a map of all the Bitcoin nodes, all the reachable nodes. They're probably closer to 100,000 nodes once you, ca you count the, the unreachable nodes. But each of these nodes has a full copy of the Bitcoin blockchain, the entire transaction history since 2009, as well as the UTXO set, which defines who is holding Bitcoin and the amounts. And so this is being stored in a very decentralized manner. Also, we now have internet that comes from satellites. We have Starlink as well. And we also have Blockstream satellites that are now broadcasting the Bitcoin blockchain from space. So the longer this goes on, the more robust the internet becomes. We have undersea cables, we have satellites, we have relay stations, we have many different forms of the internet. Even a global nuclear war probably couldn't stop the internet or Bitcoin at this point. The Bitcoin network would probably keep pumping out new blocks even without any humans left alive on earth. If you're holding US dollars, if you're holding stocks or fiat, you have to take that into consideration because this is not true for stocks. It's not true for your bank account. It's not true for Wells Fargo, Bank of America, or Schwab. So you should really pick your money carefully. Do you want dirty, debasable fiat money like US dollars or euros that's controlled by central bankers? 
no thanks to that. Do you want shiny yellow rocks? I would say no thanks to that as well. They've been a terrible store of value for the past decade. In my nuclear bunker, I plan on only accepting Bitcoin because it has the robustness, it has the decentralization that allows it to survive anything that the world can throw at it. And the more that the world throws at it because Bitcoin is anti-fragile, the stronger Bitcoin and the stronger the Bitcoin network become over time. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.